Hi. Hello. Uh, okay, just I'm glad it's working. <laughs> oh my God. Last time I had problems. So yeah. So did Mark. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Our claim to fame. Wow. How are we? So is Mark coming today? I don't even know if he's. I don't uh, know. I don't yeah. Know. Hi, Dean. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Uh, Mark is coming, Elisa. Oh, okay. All right, good. Although I didn't speak to him about it today. Um, he had, they had a fire last night. Yeah. Yeah. So I think about it. I don't, I don't know. He said he was prior to the fire. He had okay. Yeah. All right. So we're just going to barely make a quorum today. That is correct. <laughs> okay. Is Linda coming? She is, but she's not an official board member anymore. So she doesn't count as the quorum. Hmm. Oh, because the the terms go until December thirty first. Dean, how's your project going? I see your roofs looking slowly. being built. Very slowly. What? <laughs> slowly. slowly. <laughs> well, we have time. We keep losing our uh, crews with COVID. So. Oh, oh God. Hard. My husband has COVID, oh, but no. he's doing fine. He's doing well. As does my father-in-law, and he's uh, almost ninety. So. Yeah, we're he, meeting. Deep uh, yeah, we're meeting. Okay? So, Dean, what do you do when somebody comes in? Do you have to close down the whole project? They close down the project. They do a deep clean, and then they. Uh, you know, anyone who's had a media exposure to that person is quarantined and then go back to work. But it's hard just rolling through the cruise. Do you know yeah, anything about rooftop, oh, sorry. Rooftops <laughs> on 755? So it's exciting. It's looking good. How about do you know anything about the Jason's rooftop? What that structure is? The adjacent rooftop? J no Jason's liquor store. I know they're having seating and they built something on the roof. I just don't know what it is. I don't. I it don't. looks like from our building, it looks like because we like have a direct view of it. It looks like when you go up to the top of some the roof and there's a parking structure, you know, you're on the roof parking, and it's like the doorway that you would come to get out onto the roof. So maybe it's a doorway. Maybe they're going to provide some kind of access to the roof, or maybe they have to, that there wasn't prior. I don't know, but that's what it looks like. There's like two pretty significant structures that look like doorways or like the like an elevator bank, even like kind of like the ones that are at the flower market. Where is this exactly? I'm sorry. It's I kind of remember behind. The address. It's like behind the Harkham's property, um, Lori. Oh, oh, oh. It's okay. like on eight, Maine. I think it's like 813 Maine. Maine. Maybe. Um, it's the it's where you know there's the big parking lot at 9th and Maine. Yeah. And it's the building that has the mural with the um, purplish woman. It's been graffiti. Yeah, it's been graffitied, exactly. Mm. Okay, well, um, I guess it looks like we do have a quorum, Rena. If if I'm calculating correctly, <clears throat> I don't know if you agree. <clears throat> I'm not counting right now. Six, seven. Is there an agenda? Eight, yeah. Yeah, the agenda was included. Um, it's, All right. It's a pretty short agenda. Um, there is, and, and actually, um, Miranda, are you able to share it? Is it on your screen if I make you host?
in the meantime. <laughs> okay, so I, uh, we'll just start. I, I thought gonna... because Miranda's way more organized than I am, she could get the agenda up on the screen quicker than me. And she probably still can. Um, um, it's okay, it's only a four item ag yeah. uh, agenda and I can just read it. But uh, why don't I first call the meeting to order and uh, welcome everybody, happy new year. I, I, um, I <laughs> what can I say? Um, I thought this was gonna be a great start to this year, but it's looking so crazy that I don't know what to say about it. But anyways, welcome everyone. Uh, the first item on the agenda is public comment. So I would like to open it up to public comment. Is there any, I see we have two members of the public uh, on our Zoom call, Bong Hits 4 and C. Martin. So welcome to our special board meeting and uh, would you like to speak? Okay, it looks like we do not have any public comment. Um, so that will take us to item number two, which is the report from the bylaws committee. Um, so uh, I would just like, before I make this report, I just, <clears throat> I, I do uh, wanna thank everybody for, for being patient. I know we were supposed to have this meeting in you know December, but for we had some delays. So here we are today. Um, uh, we basically have met many people on this, uh, on the cult right now are on the actual bylaw committee. So, um, so thank you for your part participation. This was, um, this took a lot of effort, many, you know, uh, we had multiple meetings and spent many hours reviewing our current, um, bylaws and, the main goal was really just to clean it up. It's a little bit, it was just a dated document. We're not making any major changes here. Um, we are just trying to um, just clean up the version that we have. One thing I can say, unfortunately, so I'm gonna apologize uh, right now. I looked at, I think um, um, accidentally an, an original red line version was submitted um, so, uh, it's not the last red line version. Unfortunately, Rena, I went through it. Yeah, and I, I just, we can just kind of, I can mention what I've noticed. I don't know, before we even go through it or mention anything else, I wanna ask if the board members who are not on the committee or even on the committee, if anybody has a comment, if you've read the document, um, just in case the committee missed something or if, if a board member had an opinion about something that, um, that wasn't, didn't participate and wanted to mention it, this would be a good time before I even mention what I noticed. So any board members have a question or a comment? That's a nice background. Uh, is that Miranda or Rena's screen? I don't know, but I, I like that. <laughs> Looks like the Nepali coast of Hawaii. I don't know. <laughs> Makes me I have a, I have a California. question. I have a question. Can you hear yeah. me? Yes. Okay. Hi, Hi guys. Um, the the portion about the the overlays for the Santee Alley. I just have a question. The assessments are done on the three different areas of a building: the square footage, the the the, the plot size, and then the the street footage because of the services that we're providing. If the there's an area, for example, the Santee Alley that has extra needs. Either you could have hired outside people or you guys decided to hire the bid to, hold on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, let me go out of this room. The, the bid, they decided to hire the bid to be able to do the work. Um, why is that added in as extra um, um, voting power? Because we're adding budget and we're adding linear footage that doesn't exist. It's not being assessed. It's additional assessment and it's additional funds that are being paid. Correct. It is not included in the, in the assessments that are part of the bid. Right. 
Exactly. Okay. Yeah. I, I don't know if I necessarily agreed with that, but I know you everybody else did. So I just thought I would make a mention of that. Okay. There's a lot. There are a lot of other companies that pay outside companies to do cleaning or do other things, and they don't get extra voting power for that. Correct. But the bid is receiving the funding. It's almost like this right. area was left out we're adding this area in and then you're being assessed for it you're paying for the services you're getting it's just otherwise since we don't normally include alleys this is an alley that's this is a, you know an alley that is included but people are paying additional funds in order to receive the services so it's not part of the current assessment it's completely separate which is actually a positive thing it's not like you're getting more benefit for the same funding Right, right, right. I understand that. Okay, I just didn't understand why that would give more voting rights. But it just because means the that income you guys are is dirtier. because the money's being paid. <laughs> the money's been paid. It's inside the district. It's inside. It's within the boundaries of the district. It's a benefit. The services are provided by the bid. It's everything in name. It's just like, oh, hey, you didn't include this in the front footage, but here, here's an additional assessment. We're agreeing. Assess us more, and we're paying more. And so your weight is more because the funds are going into the bid. They are being deposited into bid accounts and enjoyed in the bid, within the boundaries of the bid. Okay, well, but they're just being, it's really kind of a wash. You're paying for your services and you're getting services. For, I'm sorry, let me mute myself. Linda? Yeah, sorry, I muted I, just the dog. Okay, no, 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 I'll yeah. just respond by saying that if, for instance, you and Mark Chadoff, you guys wanted to start something in the flower district, let's say, let's say that uh -huh. this is, the language is there, it's open to any area that is currently not receiving, let's say, you guys had a joint alley, or I don't know what, you'd have some kind of like property that wasn't being currently assessed, you wanted to be assessed, the bid would be collecting the money. And, and let's say the bid is providing the cleaning services that you guys can't otherwise do. As the flower district, you know, you could ask for the bid to do that and then the bid would, but you're paying for it. It's not right. coming out of funding that currently exists. It's all separate funds, but it's you're still re receiving services by the bid. Let's say you wanted the security guards to come more often. I don't know, it could be anything. Uh -huh. And you had like a legal, you know, you had like a, you and the other property owners in the flower district, you know, you guys all decided to do something in the same, in the same way that you're not currently being assessed, you would add assessment and add services, but it's by the bid. It's being provided by the bid and it's being enjoyed within the boundaries of the bid and the property owners are paying for it. Right. That's all, just using the bid to collect funding like anything else. Right, okay, thank you. Okay. Um, Okay, so are there any other comments, questions on the bylaws as they appear on the red light version or on the, on the clean version? Okay, if there aren't any comments, then I would just, I would have to, I would have to, Rena, tell you what I noticed or everybody, because this is on the original, um, there are some minor things. I'm sure the lawyer is going to be cleaning up like paragraph indentations or additional periods, which are not necessary to talk about now. But um, one thing, Rena, I'm going to actually, so can you, do you want to put pull up the bylaws on the screen so we can all look at it? Or should we just have our own versions in front of us? How do you want to do it? Rena? Uh, it's up to you guys, but we certainly can share it. I think Miranda has them queued up. Um, and so if you want to go to, I think if you go to the clean version and tell us, make sure the clean version has the change. Um, okay, so let me, I'll and just say- the And the pages are numbered. Okay, so on the clean- So if, if you could tell us what page. Okay, hold on. So, Okay, Article Three, Section Three. That is. Can you make page... that larger, Miranda? Or no. Art Article Three, Section Three would be page three on the clean version. Yep. Um, 
I just noticed uh, in the paragraph right before section four, it says this bylaw provision setting forth membership rights may not be amended except on a vote of, uh, it has uh, on a vote of a majority of the members in accordance with article three, section four. Did we not, uh, I think in one version I had just that it said weighted, the way you had added weighted, you know how you were putting it into various locations, Rena? Um, the weighted vote. I think, yeah, I think the, the it's fine. We can add it in, but the attorney just said it, you don't need it because it's, you're talking about how the members vote in, is it section four? Um, somewhere else. So we, but we can certainly add it. It's not. Okay. It was just that one word. Okay. Um, um then I, on Article 3, Section 4. So, okay, this kind of looked a little jumbled. If you look on the top of page four, uh, I'm, I know it was just, that's not a big deal. It just needs to kind of be cleaned up a little, this paragraph. But um, look at what happened. If you look on the third, fourth line, or by facsimile transmission to the chair of the board or president, vice president, vice chair, or secretary. So it really should just say chair. Yeah, it did. Vice chair and yeah. treasurer was missing and secretary. Yeah, it looks like the correction. Yeah, didn't it got a little right. mixed up there. Yeah. Um, and hold on. Okay, if you go to page five, this is just a typo. Um, the presence in person, that paragraph, that first paragraph, if you go to the second to last line of that paragraph is approved by at least a majority. I don't know if you see that, Rena. Yeah, I do. Thank you. Okay. That, that actually was a mistake on our original bylaws. <laughs> not, not That's now. Funny. Um, <laughs> and then, uh, the paragraph, the following, the next paragraph, um, in paragraph, add, okay, w wasn't it the language was supposed to be and or for doing things electronically or, hold on, let me see where it was, on any matter other than the election of directors and members vote, maybe by vo voice vote electronically remotely, any action which may take members which may be taken by members, may be taken by written vote of the members to the extent allowed under the Ralph Brown Act as determined by the city attorney of the city of LA. And I think we're missing a word here, or may be taken electronically or remotely after the city of LA. Is that what, that what you wanted to say there? I think you had added language about electronically or remotely. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't know. I mean, what? it looks like it's it's missing a word, and or or something to that effect. Let me find it on the red line. Uh, Elisa, it's the same above that where it says any matter other than elect election of uh, directors, the members vote may be a voice vote electronically or remotely. I'm back, the same language. Hold on, I, I actually have just lost it. Um... Yeah, I don't. I that's that's what was changed by the attorney. So I, I don't know the answer to that. Um, I just, if you read it grammatically, yeah, it's I am, I, yeah. right. I'm, okay. So I, you can just ask him about that. I think, okay. just, I think I it's missing a word there. Okay. Then um, if you go down to article four, section two, um, any appointed position? Uh, no. Um, hold on. 
Oh, the authorized number of directors may be changed only by a vote of the board. We we did not change that in the end, Rena. It goes by a majority yeah. of a weighted majority or the majority of members or something. Whatever the language that was in there originally. Hold on, let me just actually find it. Yeah, the committee did not change that. Okay, okay. Rare, is it what page and all that? Okay, sorry. Page six towards the bottom, it's like the sixth line up from the bottom. Directors shall assume office in January. The authorized number of directors may be changed only by, it should stay as it was, a vote of the members of the corporation pursuant to Article 3, Section 4, not a vote of the board. The committee didn't change that. Okay. Um, uh, let's see. All directors. Oh, on the next page, in the red line version, there was a sentence that was taken out. In the middle, you took out everything after that paragraph prior to the term commencing January 1st, that paragraph that was removed. There was only one sentence that we kept, if I'm not mistaken, which was all directors will be elected from a slate of qualified persons in accordance with these bylaws. Wasn't that, I have it as that we kept that and then it went to in the event, this would be on page, uh, oh my God. I don't even know where it is on this version. What what section, Elisa? Let's just say it's Article Four, Section Two, and it's kind of it's after the sentence about the director shall assume office in January. Then you have the authorized number no okay then in the event there are insufficient number okay there was one sentence that's fine the in the event there are that's fine but be but before that there was one sentence that i have that we kept in which is all directors will be elected from a slate of qualified persons in accordance with these bylaws we didn't take that sentence I, out i have that shown as crossed out on the last red line that we did okay. at our last meeting that she's okay. taking all that out. All right, fine. I, I have it that that sentence was left in, but does any other member of the committee agree that with Linda, that you remember that that was removed or do you remember that that was left in? I don't remember. I'm just looking at it. I have it in front of me. I know, so do I. <laughs> so that's what happened. <laughs> That's what happens when we, I guess, wrote it down or I wrote it down differently. Not a big deal if anybody else on the committee remembers it. Either way, I'll go with whatever the committee recommended. I just, my notes show that sentence was still in. Um, Reno, do you remember why we would have taken that one out? I'm looking to it, see. Because um, I think you wanted that in. Um, to stay in. Article four. I'm looking at the older version with the attorney's notes. It might not be in there unless it's a red line. Oh, well, no, it should be in there. It's kind of like in the middle of that or towards the end of that paragraph, which shows on page eight of 22 in the original version. Yeah, I, it, the attorney took it out. Okay. Um, probably because that whole section that he took out was based on the inaugural sort of board election, the first year that the, these bylaws were put in place to, um, and it, it's where, if you'll recall, it said, you know, beginning on February 6, 2003, um, or uh, January 1st, 2004, three of the, you know, three will be termed out. It was that whole section. And so this um, had to do with the original election of the board. Okay. All right, that's fine. 
so moving on then, I guess my, um, my next comment would be in that sentence where in the event, hold on, I just lost it. In the event there are an insufficient number of persons running for election, any remaining board positions shall be appointed by a vote of the board of directors. I think it was like a, by a majority vote, right? Did we not? Um, you can add that, yeah. Have that, okay. I had that written in on sure. my notes. Um, director um oh didn't we say also that um i didn't th i think i didn't think we were adding language when we took that paragraph out i didn't think we were adding a director is immediately eligible to seek election for a new term uh i i believe just that by removing the other paragraph i i I don't know that we need that. I don't know that we have it. I don't even have that it was in there, but did the- no, We added it. We definitely added it because we took out the fact that you are no, that you no longer have to sit out for a year. Right. We but... specifically added it to say that while your term ends after three years, you can immediately run again. Okay. Yeah. Is right. that even I... after six years? Well, yes. each term is three years, so yeah. Yes. yes. Right, so there are no term limits, so you can run again right after. Um, okay, um, okay, section four. Uh, this one has to do with election of directors about the voting. Um, hold on, add in writing. Um, Okay, first on the third sentence, to vote for the directors of section four, election of directors, do you see that? Shall be entitled to vote, it's just a language thing that we corrected that wasn't included in this version. Okay. Um, the other thing is that, okay, the ballot shall be mailed in the manner determined by board of directors, all solicitations shall be specified, blah, blah, blah. Um, Oh my God, there's somewhere in here about the voting. Where's the, I guess I'm in the wrong. There's something about the voting. I don't know if anybody can find it, but where? What was it about? It was question. about that voting is only, we changed it to add email, faxing or remotely. I, I forget what it was, but it took out writing. If you take a look in section four, the very first sentence, it used to say this corporation shall distribute one written ballot. She took out the written to remember the very first sentence of section four election of directors. So it used to say they would distribute one written ballot to vote and it vote, then they added voting may take place electronically or remotely. And that was added in. I need to directors. Um, Is that what you're referring to? Um, yeah, but I think we were supposed to keep in the written option, right, Rena? Because if somebody well, there is, we, let's say, we, am I missing further this? on? If it says all solicitations of vote by written ballot shall A, specify that members may write in votes for directors? No, 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 that's something yeah. else. No, no, in the second sentence, voting may take place. It should just say in writing electronically or remotely or electronically, remotely and or in writing. It just has yeah. to have that as an option. That's I would all. agree. Okay. Okay. Um, Section eight, section nine. Oh, okay. Just, I thought we were not changing that. So it was just because we weren't changing the number of, anyways, currently we, we were leaving it as is, Rena, which was eight directors holding office at any point shall constitute a quorum or whatever. It was just, I, I don't know that we need to make a change with that. I'm sorry, where? 
Section nine, first sentence, first words. It should say eight directors holding office at any point in time shall constitute a quorum. It no. just isn't, we're just not changing. We weren't changing that. Uh, well, no, the reason why you don't want that is because if you have a vacancy on the board for some reason, somebody drops out, then the quorum changes based on the number of seats filled. But wouldn't you, if somebody dropped out, wouldn't the board elect another member? Uh, a director? Of course, but it might not happen. So you want to be able to have the freedom to still have a quorum, even if you haven't been able to fill 15 seats. No, but remember, Rena, we talked about that because we were saying, let's say, you know, five people couldn't come and then you have, or, or you only have eight people. So now a quorum is five or it's, it's, a, it's a pretty small number. I do so. remember us talking about some, on some of the votes saying a, a quorum of or a majority of the members that were at the meeting, but I don't remember if it was in reference to this. Vote. No, that's that's different. No, that's something else. Yeah. Um, other committee members, do you guys remember that conversation? Because I specifically remember that. I didn't well, have any. Okay, well, if they're, um, well, do you guys have a thought about it now, board, um, about if, this? If you just say a majority of directors, then it's the majority of the number of directors. Why would you wanna have the eight in there? Because right now eight is kind of like the bar and I'm saying that if for some reason, a ton of people, if people resign, if people, didn't want to continue on the board and you only had a few people let's say people resign in protest i don't know you can have anything we've never had this in all the years we've existed well, we've always been a pretty you know we've always gotten along pretty well but well, in this scenario don't say the word protest <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry i used it and okay let's but, not talk politics <laughs> okay no no so if if for any reason people were coming off you could have a very small number of people making decisions I, i'm just saying there's no bar on how low that number goes if we put it in as a majority of directors holding office at any point you could um, you could can you I, could do an and or can i interrupt for a minute sure um i think if i'm doing the number correctly we we only have eight people on this call right now that can vote and tyler needs to have a hard stop at 305 yeah sorry guys i i was gonna interrupt i i do vote though in favor of changing the bylaws um today um that's my vote I, i'm sorry that i kind of got it wrong um is there anything else that you need for me to kind of make that vote more official well we can't make a motion yet i i don't know um uh yeah because there are just a i only have a few more things left but uh you know i think maybe it'll just have to be resubmitted i don't know rena if he can't if Tyler can't stay on, maybe we would have to resubmit the the um, the uh, version um, to include the changes. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna dial in from my phone and I'll and I'll be I'll be there. I'll be on. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Sorry about that. I'll okay. <laughs> Sorry, it was supposed to be you know quicker, but um, unfortunately, I I noticed all these things. So okay. So let's move on. Um, so. Any thoughts, board members, about the point I'm making and the point I mean, of? Just, I'm sorry, Elisa. Go ahead, Rena. I, I just want to say that you really want to keep yourself open in case there always can be a time when you don't have enough people to fill your board where you're like in between, you know, you have to make a board decision right. maybe you're not going to be able to prove this person for another three weeks you have to be able to do have a quorum of the members that are there you're gonna you're gonna hamstring yourself if you put the number eight in there and then and then notice later on in the in the section where it talks about a super majority um that you do want to have because it talks about correct Right, other right. things, so. Right, no, I, look, we've had this in here for all these years, but uh, listen, board members, you know, you're hearing both sides. I don't know if anybody has an opinion 
Otherwise, I would leave it unless you guys agree that, uh, you know, you want to put it in as a majority. I understand, Rena. I don't disagree with you, but I just I I am just concerned if if that number that number can be so low unless you put in like a minimum number required, then I understand your point, too. But in all these years, it hasn't happened. Does anybody on this call have an opinion? You, it actually did happen in the past, though. So there were times when you didn't have the full group of people um, that were part of the board. So where when did we not have a full board? Well, when I was first came on, um, Mark Chadoff had a different person who were, was representing him. And there was a there was a period of time before he got on the board. So right, and I, I'm that, sure I'm sure in the 20 something years, this is not this is not a weird thing to happen. I mean, this happens on boards. So I, 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 I just be careful me. because you won't be able to do any business at all. Like you won't be able to even pass your minutes. On another okay. board that I sit on, we put that uh, a percentage other rather than the amount of people we put that a percentage of the people present or that are on the board. So let's say there's a person missing that percent, that number would change. Does that make right. sense? That's covered by saying the majority. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, do you guys want to keep it like this? I, I'm not hearing any other. I, I don't, I don't have a feeling. I, I think that flexibility is probably not a terrible thing at this point. Um, you know, we, we're a good board. We've all, we've been a good board for a long time. And um, if it just gives it a, a, that one F scenario, and um, I, I, I uh, coming from what happened to me last night, I, you know what? I think it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> had okay, no, I'm I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm just like <laughs> I'm fine with it. I just it was what we discussed. So I yeah. I know we talked about it, but we in the end had said to keep it. So I'm fine with changing it. I just want to make sure that the it, it, the it committee does, is in agreement. So Mark, you agree, and Linda agrees. I agree. and, it does. It does say what it. I mean, it says majority. We have a 15 member board. You know, I I'm trying to think when we did not have a 15 member member board when we dropped down to a 12 or 13 which uh, is probably very rare, but then if it did, it would, what we were talking about, we're looking for a number, if it was 13, we're looking for, it would be six. Seven, seven, seven. Yeah. seven. Yeah. yeah. So okay. it's, not a, it's fine, it's not, I'm fine leaving it. I'm fine leaving, I just wanted to bring okay. that up. Okay, and then um, section, hold on, article five, section, article five, section seven. Didn't, uh, again, I have notes on this, so this might have just been my notes, but I felt like this was something we discussed. Did we not say something about the secretary certifying? We were repeating the language in the earlier part of the document that says that, uh, that the secretary also certifies the recording date or something. Isn't that, Rena? do you remember that earlier? in the no. document. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that um, was, because I think we were trying to, of course, I wish I could remember where I saw it. I, I mean, I think it says that, I know what you're talking it. about. It says that under this, under the, it's not in the special notices section, it's in the section where it talks about the officers. This is in the section of officers. Okay. I'm in that section oh. and it's- Oh, I know what it was, yes. Um, Oh, page three. Here, yes. I found it. A member shall be in good standing only if such members has paid all assessments as determined by the secretary of the corporation from the records of the LA County tax assessor. So I think that that was also a duty or that's a job of the secretary. I think we were just going to add it here, like to repeat it. That that. So there's clarity on what the secretary is supposed to do. It's not just the secretary is not only mailing notices. The uh -huh. secretary is also Okay. Determining that. Okay, so there was that. And then, <clears throat> oh, committees. <clears throat> Policy got left off committees, Rena. Um, on Article 6, Section 1, page 13 at the bottom of the new version. Dave Foley's uh, chair of that committee. 
and somehow that got left off. Um, Okay, and then uh, um, <clears throat> Article 8, Article 8, uh, Section 1 and 2. Um, okay, really this is semantics, but just in that pair, uh, two things. One is that in the wording of whether or not board members, I think we said including board and all board and non-board members. Um, and then you have it later in section two in, in parentheses, but after that it's mentioned, committee members are mentioned twice, but without that qualification of board or non-board members. So I'm just wondering from a legal perspective, if the lawyer would put it in everywhere to qualify, you know, who a committee member includes mm -hmm. um okay i mean he he did this but okay just i would ask the question if you need it everywhere um okay. and then i just have it as including all board and non-board members okay there was that and then almost done i have two more um article nine section three article nine section three this is on voting no hold on Oh no. Um, hold on. Um, no, I think that's the wrong one. It's the one about voting. Um, Where, where's the section? I, I, I wrote down the wrong number. So um, where's the what section on about, how we vote? Sorry? What, what specifically is it about? It's about voting, how we vote in elections for board members. Um, Guys, I have to sign off now. I'm really sorry. I can try yeah, to- A bunch of people are leaving actually. I know, sorry, everybody. I know it's a pain, okay. but I'm not gonna put forward a document that's not the way it should of be. Of course, I agree. So, I'll um, log in after if you're still on. Okay. Thank you. All right. Uh, Rena, there's one thing about how, I don't know where the voting for, I wrote down the wrong section. So I, does anybody know or can anybody find uh, where we vote for board members. It was in the beginning, like page four and five, where you were discussing it earlier of the revised version, not the um, tracked version. Okay, all right, so here's section four. All right, um, did I mention that? Oh, there we are, second sentence, section four, election of directors voting may take place electronically or remotely and it should also be in writing yeah. and in writing so i don't know if we corrected that already that. you mentioned that already. oh so so what do i have uh i don't know i have something on article 9 section 3 which is like a just like a random a random one um something I don't know, I have and or, that it was like something was, okay, I don't know. I can't find it right now, so I'm gonna ignore that. I, I don't know what I have. And then the last one is article, article 13. Section, there is no section. Um, just to include emailed. Oh, I know, the proposed amendment, it's second, to last sentence or the last sentence, the proposed amendment or new bylaws must be mailed or faxed. I think you wanted to include emailed Rena in that to all directors. Okay. At, at least three business days. All right, th those are all my comments. Um, 
So Rena, um, we could either, should we, we can either, I'll have discussion now uh, with the board just as to, you know, if there are any comments about the changes just made, uh, whatever motion we would have to, you know, to adopt these new bylaws would have to, I guess, include these changes. So Rena, do you have to submit a change document, a, a corrected document, or is that enough? That well, we... you, you don't have enough people now um, because Lisa left and so did Dean. Okay. So what maybe the suggestion would be to Revise uh, and then resend. Just revise this um, and then bring it up at the board meeting next week. Okay, that's fine. That sounds good. It'll be your last uh, effort. As no, chair. this is it. I'm done now. I'm handing over next at the next uh, the next well, meeting. I will not be chairing that. No, but don't so. you want to pass the minutes before we go into elections? I'm mean, sorry. The, the 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 modifications to the bylaws. I, yeah, I know I would, I would want to, but we can't, we can't vote on anything, Mark. We mm -hmm. don't have a quorum now. Can we do it? Well, wait a minute, wait a minute, Rena. Sorry for a second. Isn't, isn't it in our bylaws that says that if you start with a, a if you start with a quorum, if there is initially a quorum at the meeting, then you can continue as such? You can continue the meeting, but I don't think you can vote. Okay. Yeah. Um, so then, yeah, so then I guess uh, we'll have we to do to it. We'll, we'll, until the next meeting. Uh, yeah, no, another final victory for you on the way the last <laughs> meeting. <laughs> is, is that it? <laughs> oh my God. Um, do we really, so was there any, so how many, wait, wait, Rena, how many board members are on this call at this point? Seven. Let me try to get Lisa on, okay? Let me see, because if she just went off, maybe she's, I, I spoke to her earlier in the day and uh, she told me she might go off and just if, if for some reason we need her to call her back. So let me do that now, okay? Yes. And in the meantime, I'll make these changes and get this out to everybody, um, the revised version. Okay. Mark, how's the building? Um, smoky. Very smoky. A lot of damage. Um, yeah, I mean, it's the the building is the building is uh, is up and uh, it's isolated, and it's going to be a circus act. We're dealing with getting the repairs done and the insurance company and whatnot. But um, the fire department was amazing. Uh, they were great. It wasn't the one over here on San Julian. It was the one off of, uh, I think it was off of Central. Oh. Um, sorry to interrupt for one second. I'm sorry. Um, Lisa says she's having trouble calling in and she's asking how she should call in. Um, is there a phone I number? You a, yeah, let me get you a phone number. Or you can just text it to her directly. Oh, that's a good idea. Um, I just admitted her from the waiting room, so I think she's on. Oh, yeah, okay. okay Lisa, uh, temporarily. Okay, thanks, Lisa. I appreciate it. Yeah, can we take the <laughs> vote quick color. before Spectrum cuts me off again? Yeah, Do sure. No problem. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> um, so I guess after all that, you know, okay. corrections and stuff, is there anyone who wants to make a motion? Um, I will make a motion the motion to adopt, adopt the minutes uh, with with the corrections suggested by by by, by the chair of the committee. Uh, wait, Mark, you said the minutes. Did you mean the bylaws? Bylaws. I'm sorry. I'm a little bit. I'm a little bit punchy right now. <laughs> 
<laughs> yes, well, you want to restate the motion? Sorry. I moved I moved to adopt the motion with all the modifications as su suggested by the chair of this committee as stated. Okay. Second. Thank you. Dave Foley seconds. Okay, any discussion on the motion? So all in favor of the motion and Rena, are you gonna do a count or? Um, okay. Sure. Well, or you can, you want to do all in favor or any abstentions? Okay. And oh, okay. Any abstentions? Sorry. Any yes. abstentions from the on the on the motion? Sorry. Any abstentions from the, on the motion? Anyone opposed to the motion? So the motion passes unanimously, Rena. Okay. Great. Thank you. Everybody. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, board. Oh my God. Thank, Thank you for, for your patience. I appreciate it. I know that was Thank probably brutal. <laughs> sure. Um, okay, so is there um, any new business? The last item on our agenda is new business. Does anybody have any new business for this group? No. Okay. Thank you. So everybody again, happy new year. And thank you very much for showing up today. I really appreciate it. And the committee appreciates it. And um, I guess I will adjourn the meeting and see you guys next week at the board meeting. Thank you. All right, everybody. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.